small businesses in Dallas, Texas. I own a uh, bar called The Free Man. And I, I actually have a daughter named Dagny. I'm really into <laughs> the libertarian movement. I also have a screen printing and embroidery, sh embroidery shop up there. We have 34 employees. That's just a little bit about me, but I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I'm going to skip to the, to the speech part of this. One of the main things when I talk about why I'm running, I talk about the idea of everybody right now has got America divided up into two sides. You've got to be on this side or you've got to be on this side. No matter what you start saying, if you say, well, I'm kind of a little bit government, they want to, okay, well, oh, you're on this, this conservative side. Well, I don't think that's really the way it's supposed to be, and that's kind of where this little speech that I'm about to give comes from, and it's, it's a thing called Stop Stealing My Stuff. And the idea is, is if you wake up in the middle of the night, and you hear this crashing sound in the downstairs, and then you, you run downstairs, and you, and you see a guy, and he's holding your TV, and the first thing you say to that guy holding your TV is, what religion are you? No. You say, obviously you don't say that. Obviously you say, what's your stance on gay marriage? <laughs> no, the first thing you say to the guy is stop stealing my stuff. And in America today, that's what's happening. Between the Federal Reserve, between between the oil, between the military industrial complex, all of the government just uses that little bit of power that they get from you that you're going to give them over these little issues that people think this is my issue and I want the government to do something about it. I want government to legislate this little thing or that little thing or bring back zebra striped underwear or whatever it is that you want the government to do. In the end, the government's not going to do that. You know, they're going to use the power you gave them to rob you blind. So while you're thinking they are, now, the, the Republicans just had a, uh, a primary in Texas, and your choices were basically, well, you had one guy who's a CIA guy who now owns an oil and gas company. You had another choice in that, and it's a guy whose wife works for Goldman Sachs who benefited the most from the bailouts of AIG. AIG got the bailout that saved Goldman Sachs. A lot of people don't know that, but that's who's Ted Cruz's wife works for. So you had these two choices, and your choices were the oil companies or the banks. And the banks won, and you guys got Ted Cruz. And right now, and Ted Cruz is also, a, you know, a very fit, he's a social conservative. I am not a social conservative. I'm a conservative when it comes to spending money, but I'm not a conservative when it comes to what you should be able to do with your life, because you need to be free to do with your life what you see fit. I'm running on three planes. Some of you and my guys are here and have the cards. Some of you, it's basically the reason I'm running on these three planes is because neither of the other two candidates talk about these things. When these are the most, some of the most important things that are going on in the country today are listed on this card. Right now we engage in wars that cost $1.1 trillion a year to stop terrorists. And most people in America believe that terrorists hate us because we're free. Does anybody in this audience believe that terrorists hate us solely because we're free? Okay, so when a state, when, a, when you see eight guys standing on a stage, eight guys are standing on a stage and every one of them attests to the fact that terrorists hate us because we're free, it makes you think that none of those guys are qualified to run for office. Ron Paul was the only guy that stood up and said, no, that is not the case. And that was what got me involved in politics in the first place. I have two businesses, but I thought, I've got to do something to help that guy. I've got to do something to spread that word. And so, and that's the point. If you believe the terrorists hate us because we're free, you are not qualified to hold office. You're not qualified. Actually, your parents should keep you in a room with a helmet on so you're not a danger to yourself or others. And, and that's the bottom line. I mean, if terrorists hate us because we're free, Amsterdam is the freest country in the world. In marijuana, they got a red light district. You can do just about anything you wanted in Amsterdam. And it's completely free, but they're not bombing them. You know why? Because Amsterdam is not in their country putting in public dictators, stealing their resources, and spreading democracy through the barrel of a gun. That is why they're not after Amsterdam, because they're not in their countries, and we are. The second thing that I put on our card is basically talking about corporate welfare. Obviously, our welfare system, our social security system is broken. Obviously, I don't think it could be fixed. But that is throwing mama off the train is your grandma out of the you know under the bus isn't where we're going it would have to take over time but corporate welfare is the low-hanging fruit solyndra that is low-hanging fruit i mean the the bank bailouts the auto bailouts this is the kind of stuff the government has no business being in and like i said before when you give government that power they take it and use it against you lastly we talk about living your life as you see fit i mean we have it's our, our nanny state is the most ridiculous thing when we talk about the drinks that are 32 ounces versus 16 ounces, that kind of thing. But let's just talk about the, the most obvious one in there is what people say to me about marijuana is marijuana, marijuana, that makes people hungry, stupid, and hungry, stupid, and lazy. 
And it's just like, you really, you believe that. It's mar marijuana makes hungry people hungry, stupid, and lazy. And it doesn't even, if that's what you believe. Like that. But what you're telling me logically is that we have had a 40 year war <laughs> against hungry, stupid, lazy people, and we can't win it. <laughs> you know, if you have had a 40 year war against hungry, stupid, lazy people, and you can't win it, I think it's time to throw in the towel. If I was a general, if I was a general and somebody said, who would you like to go to war with? I choose hungry, stupid, lazy people. Those are the people I want to find. You know what I mean? Given the option. So anyway, and then let's just do one more, one more little thing. We talk about gay marriage. We talk, you know, that's another social issue, which I don't believe is any of government's business, honestly. It's just the people on the left will tell you we've got to allow gays to marry. The people on the right will tell you that we've got to stop gays from being married. And I gotta tell you, it's none of your business. Okay, it's not government's business to tell people who gets married and who doesn't get married. And uh, so we've been doing this tour, this is our band, we have yard signs. Those are a big help to us. If you have a car, we have bumper stickers. Putting a bumper sticker on your car is a big help to us. Volunteering to help us in Waco is a big help to us. Putting your name, your email address on our list of, of stuff is a big help to us. I'm going around the state as a small businessman who takes off six months of his life to do this for one thing. If you enjoy anything I just said, and you want to hear someone say it against the, the, the man, please help any way that you can. You know, and if it is a bumper sticker, if it is, just sign up our email list. If it is getting on our Facebook and spreading the word, that's fantastic. Whatever it is that you can do. Last thing, people will tell you that libertarians are extreme. Libertarians are not extreme. It's extreme to think that we should be going around the world spending $1 trillion dollars to be the world's police. It's extreme to think that our president can kill people without without a trial. It's extreme to think that the, you know, and we've got, there are so many extreme things going on. It's extreme to think the government needs to tell you what to do with your personal life. You know, those are extreme things. I'm not extreme. It's our government that's extreme. That being said, thank you for sticking around. I'm John J. Myers. Please come and see us over here. Yeah, if there's questions or anything, I don't want to check out you. Well, I'll only be in the debates if you guys get on Facebook and say, we saw this guy today, you got to see him, and spread the word. You just got to do it. There's a ton of videos of me online or whatever, just, just spread the word, because they can't deny it once enough people say it. And if I get into debates with Ted Cruz, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, the, 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 message, the message will be spread, and I think that for once, we could actually put a chink in the armor of the man if I was actually allowed to.